Hello once again everyone, this is the Football Shirt Archive Guy here back with another video. Now, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my last video which was on football shirts from the 1990s. So I'm going to do another decade uh, in today's episode, we're going to do the 1980s. Now fortunately, I already feel 80s enough to uh, do this episode as I have been listening to, for all you gamers out there, the Grand Theft Auto Vice City box set, which has got some absolute classic 80s tunes on that. So. Without any further ado, let's get looking at some football shirts. Now, as with every other episode that I've done, I will be doing one national team and one club team shirt per episode. So in this episode, the first shirt is going to be a club shirt and it is the Monaco home shirt from 1981. So, let's take a closer look. Like Okay, so Monaco actually won the French League in the 81-82 season and a couple of the players who played for them during this time were Manuel Amaros and Claude Puel. Now, there are actually a couple of variations of this shirt. There's the variation which actually has the black badge as well, but I think the white badge version is the slightly kind of rarer of the two of an already very, very rare shirt. Now, Again, I would normally give each shirt a mark out of 10 and I would give this easily a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the thing I like most about this shirt is the fact that it's got the kind of classic 80s French massive sponsor right across the front. And the fact as well that the red and white parts are actually two different sections actually stitched together. Uh, again, another really kind of early 80s way of making football shirts and uh, I absolutely love this. Um, it's just big enough for me to actually wear, but again, it's so rare and so old I would never actually properly wear it. Um, but yeah, so the Monaco home shirt from 1981. Okay, so we have done the uh, club team shirt, so it's now national team shirt time and for this episode it is going to be an absolute work of art of a football shirt. It is the Northern Ireland home shirt from 1984. So as always, let's take a closer look. So this absolute classic Northern Ireland shirt was used for quite a stint during the early 80s. This was used during the qualification campaigns for Euro 84 and the World Cup in Mexico 86. Now some of the players who would have worn this shirt would have been Norman Whiteside, Sammy McElroy and Martin O'Neill. Now as always I would give my shirts a mark out of 10 and this is the most obvious 10 out of 10 you will ever see. I think this is the best Northern Ireland shirt of all time. Um, from the the badge, the Adidas logo, the stripes down there, the Adidas stripes down the arms, the actual shiny stripes down uh, the entire the entirety of the shirt. Uh, it is absolute perfection, and it's probably of all the variations of the shirt that I've seen online. I'd say this is probably the, the the one that's in the best condition. Uh, such a fantastic example of this shirt and one that I am extremely proud to have in my collection. So yeah, the Northern Ireland home shirt from 84. 
Okay, so that concludes another episode of my YouTube channel, The Football Shower Archive Guy. I would like to thank you for watching and if you could leave me a great big thumbs up, a great big like, that would help me an awful lot. And if you could hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so when I do upload a new episode onto YouTube, you'll be notified. Now, I will be doing one more episode regarding specific decades and that episode will be the 2000s. So I would like to thank you once again for watching and I will see you somewhere down the road. See you later on.